Hey, how we doing tonight, guys? It's Monday night, and we are doing a, a project. Um, I'm working with a 16, I'm sorry, this is a 20, basically a 20 by 20, uh, three-quarter board that I prepped with uh, drywall paint. And, I'm sorry, not drywall paint. Wow, this is Monday at its finest. Okay, <laughs> prepped with flat white. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to attempt to do some flower a flower uh, swipe. So let's get started and hope you enjoy. Um, real quick, since we've got it there, we're using this white by Stone Coat. We're using Blue Metallic by Stone Coat. We're using oh, Blue Earth Metallic by Stone Coat. And Dark Metallic Red. All right, let's get started. I'll switch over and we'll get going. Got some festive, uh, we'll leave that off to the side. Hopefully that will stop. Yeah, it wants to, that white. I think I mentioned it's a three quarter inch uh, plywood that's just been prepped. Um, I wanted to, again, I just wanted to see, I saw it, I've been thinking about this again all day uh wanted to see if if this would work this technique the swipe technique and i wanted to see if it'll work hey, there's my lovely wife she just walked in uh, so i'm chuck by i'm chuck and that's don behind the camera Hi. And uh, this is our Picator, I hope you enjoy. If you guys watch the uh, video afterwards, please uh, make the do the comments below. I'd like to see those comments. If you like the video, share it. If you are a first time, please subscribe. And all that jazz. Um, Nicole's on. Hey, kiddo, what's hey, up? Hi, Chuck. Hi, Don. Hi. How you doing? You got the kids? Mm -hmm. We got Emerson, Finney, Jessica, my my lovely babies. All right. I can see already. I'm working with a larger piece. I got to take this off. Hopefully, we won't have a focus issue there. Hi, Finny too. Hi, Finny. Which we probably will. So if you can bear with me, I mix up that. As they keep breaking I've mixed, mixed a lot. Yeah, it's staying there so far. What was that? My Finley was in the Nutcracker and she did an amazing job. Yeah. So amazing. And we were just talking about she she looks so tall and you know in real life she's so tall, but up on the stage she was one of the little ones in the teacup and uh, or you know running around, but she was one of the little ones and oh my god. Yeah, she was an angel, a mouse, and a... A little... What was that? Oh, I'm gonna... little doll. Uh, yep. Just an all in purple, just absolutely... brother Emerson was the... What was he? A little soldier. Little soldier? Yeah, he was a soldier with a, his sword and everything. He did so good. They all did so good. It was a beautiful, fun production. What are you doing? They want to know what you're doing, Daddy. So I'm trying to prep this. Sorry, it's a little bigger piece than what I'm used to work with. That I had enough resin there. Um, we are attempting to do a flower smear. So I was kind of thinking about this today. Again, this is going to be, if you watched some of my videos before, I like trying stuff, trying new things. Try and like doing a, a technique, you know, that, or maybe I'm, do my spin on a technique that's already out there. No, I just quickly did the art thing just in case. 
So right now I'm doing a, my finger dash, my rendition of the guys in the chop over there at uh, Mike and Mitch and the guys. Stone coat? Over at Stone coat. Countertop? It's my finger chop. I'm trying to go, oh, there goes my focus. Sorry, I just caught that. I hope it wasn't out too long. We'll get some color on this and hopefully we can stop that. So I'm trying to keep my hand there while I'm getting my rag wet over here. So it doesn't go out of focus. Okay, so we're going to try, like I said, and there it goes again. So let me do this. Just start, just start doing your colors. Lay that one there. Got a couple of so them in case I didn't make a mess. Trying to get them apart. Keep going, focus up. Anyways, I hope everyone had a good Monday today. You had a better weekend. <laughs> we need to get something on the mold. We need to get some mold releasers, maybe. I don't know, because it just seems like it's not... Not doing its thing lately? I don't, I don't know. It's just like it's not coming off easier. As easy as it usually does. Oh, they're definitely, they're definitely getting worn out. Alright, I got some pre-cut. And there goes my focus. Here we go. Got some pre-cut wax paper here. I'm hoping it's going to work. I wanted something a little bit stiffer. do this without it dripping too much. Alrighty, so let's try this. So what I'm doing is I'm working with the outer petal, petals, if you will. Need more paint. Need more. Oh. My green's being more dominant than my blue. I don't mean to be quiet there, but I'm concentrating now. <laughs> anyways, my thinking was, was to pull this in and just keep doing as a layer coming into each. Uh, again. Do as a layer coming into each. Uh, now I'm lack some color there. That's basically what I'm going to do. And I should be drawing across the paint there. So we're going to grab a little bit more color. Try not 
I drag over the, the piece so we don't drop. And try this again. And as you know, not all flowers, if you will, are perfect. So now we're going to come in here, stop our drip a little bit. And start layering this in. Keep just coming in there ever so slightly. And I dripped. I didn't wait. And I lost my color. Alright, so I will fix that blue now. Simply because if you don't fix it now, it's going to play into the rest of the colors. Getting some wash out here, some selling going on. Probably because I'm re letting that white sit in there, which is a good thing. So now if we get that drips controlled, there we go. Come in, put that down. I don't know if you can see it, it's already starting to take some shape there. So I can see if I were to use something just a little more stiffer, I could probably control that drip a little more. You know? Of the cells, some are selling up in areas more than others. I can see where this is getting pretty mudded. Let's see if I get one more out of it and I'll switch. going on there. Just want to let that clean up my rag real quick. I don't know if you guys can see that. I might have pushed this one. Could have possibly got that in closer a little bit. Let's see where I might need some green, but uh, let's keep going and see what we get.
couple more here to do with this size. Control my drip as much as possible. To the next one. So I'll try laying that underneath so it's out of my way. So I got my next piece here, just a little bit smaller than before. I got some air bubbles there, I need to take care of them before those start setting up. I think it takes three or four times to so. what it needs to do what it needs to do. Alright, let's keep going. Let me turn that back a little bit. If you notice, I'm coming in and I'm trying to layer in between each one as I go. Now we definitely need more color, so we need to wipe. Into that color a little bit. Put it back down. We'll set that down just for a second. Lay some more color. Come on. There we go. Keep going, keep going on. Keep doing the same pattern. If you notice, I put that on my Lazy Susan. I haven't even used it yet. Let's wipe this off real quick. 
Set this down to the side. Switch the little one. Now I'm kind of debating if I should ever so slightly bring in that red. Not too heavy just yet, but just a little bit. In right here. Come on, give me some color. There we go. What do you guys think so far? I'm having fun. Cool. I just dropped my knuckle on there. See that? Let's try it one more time. Now what I'm gonna do? Got some color on this. I'm gonna rotate this out of the way just so I can kind of squeegee some of this off. So lay that in there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in because typically your flowers are always brightest or more vibrant at the center. So we'll start with a fresh, as you can see that's pretty mudded up here. Start with a fresh color palette. I'll lay this red right across it. Try this. Now here's where the drips are gonna get fun. So you have to really pay attention to the drips. Trying to wipe that off every single time so I can get a fresh color in there. It looks like a really pretty Christmas bow. Does it? Yeah. It's supposed to be a flower. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Actually, I can see where I should have mixed up some gold. Uh, Lost some of my red. Is that the TV? Yeah. And now, 
how do we finish that center, right? So now what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little kick knife and see if I can't come in here. I want to get some more red in there because I got some more red to pop that. Some of that color. Try and watch my drip. Well, I can see right now that it's just a little heavy. Hmm. Okay, so let's try this one more time, see if, if it was just me or if I'm, so I'm think that blade, that, think that metal is just a little too heavy to bring that. In. Which I think it is. So I didn't cut a smaller piece. Decisions, decisions real quick. Yep. Oh, um, my bubbles? No, oh, just right here, use that. Oh, don't, don't tip for me, I just tip for me. Okay. Yeah, I need some a little more longer though. Cause I'm going from pedal down to pedal. So I was hoping that would be the right size, but it's dragging. It's just been a little too heavy handed. Let's try this. Let's see if I can stay with it. Let's see what we got here. Things that make you go, hmm. So I'm trying to lay down the color, and I can see where that kind of got in it, but that's fine. Because flowers are always done in layers anyways, but uh, you see we got a big issue out here. And I'm trying to watch that drizzle. I don't want that drizzle, even though it's cool. When you're doing tile work, <laughs> the tile pieces or their hot plate pieces, that drizzle looks really cool, but you don't want it here, that's for sure. And I've lost my color, I think. Pick up some more blue there around that blade. Let me see your head, honey. Oh, sorry. I probably did that a couple times. <laughs> One more, and then I think I just need to finish off the center, but I need some more color on my gizmo over here on my little plate over here because I've scraped I think all the color I'm going to be able to get out of that. What's cool about this piece is I haven't worked any of those outer corners that much other than just you saw just hitting it with the heat torch and it's selling up like crazy out my outer petals. couple more and I think we've got the center done. Get a little more red in 
here. Is my head in the way? Uh, uh, not that I can see yet. I can only point it to you. Alrighty. It's not bad. I can see where right now the only thing I would like to have done here, and I know this is resin and not, you know, probably going, it's resin, people, leave it alone. But what I'd like to have seen here, if there is a way that I could have uh, layered in some gray on the back and uh, I'm reading the comments, sorry, I just drew a blank. <laughs> If I could layer some uh, light gray in here to give some shadowing, I might still be able to do that. I got a little bit of color to mix that in to kind of pop this, but uh, fun. It worked. Thinking maybe I could do a little bit of gold or something out of here. I don't know. Maybe that's too Christmassy. But give me a comment. What do you think? Got to torch it. A little bit you can see where some of my pedals got a little off but um i'm liking this technique i think if uh a little bit stiffer bristle or even possibly taking a you know if you took a uh, one of these and just softly round it and i got too much so you can get the resin up on that tip and come in there and have a little bit more control the thing with as uh you'll find with swiping is a lot of times that the if it's too heavy, like what you saw right here, it's too heavy, you'll actually scrape. So it really takes a, a fine hand. That's why you'll see a lot of the artists use, you know, like a wax paper or something like that. I was, uh, you know, to get that uh, to drag more than by its own weight than something that's really heavy. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to torch this. I think I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, I might come in with some gray behind here just to pop that. But I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for everybody that tuned in. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed and we're, uh, I like how this piece didn't hit anything. Oh, my camera got switched over. So anyways, hope you enjoyed. That was the, my attempt at trying to do a, uh, a rose or a, uh, not necessarily a rose, but a flower petal doing a swipe. Hope you enjoyed. This is Chuck and Don from Art by Cater. Like I said before, if you uh, haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you have any comments after watching this video, please put them in below. And thanks for watching. And hey, put some resin in your life. It'll make you happy.